One essay, just one essay, a maximum of 250 words. UCLA Anderson just might have the easiest essay ask or it just might have the hardest. If you wanna to go to UCLA Anderson, really make this essay count, but also, and yes, you should be doing this anyway, tighten up every single other part of your application. Hone that resume, prep those recs, nail that interview, try to share as much as you can with the adcom via other channels because 250 words is a tight box. Let's do this. Okay, required essay, this is it. UCLA Anderson seeks to develop transformative leaders who think fearlessly, drive change, and share success. We believe the ability to persevere is an essential component of effective leadership. Please share an example from your personal and professional life where you demonstrated perseverance to accomplish a significant goal or milestone. 250 words maximum. Anderson clearly knows that many of life's greatest successes require one, two, try, try again and that this attitude is necessary to gain and accomplish the most, not just in business school, but also in the world after graduation. Ask yourself, would you want the leader of your company to have faced absolutely no diversity at all, or would you want them to have taken a few lumps, learned to deal with stumbles or failures, and figured out how to grow? I think the question almost answers itself. We would assume the latter, and UCLA is basically saying that too. For this essay, you can share either a personal story or professional one, so explore all your career, family, and community life experiences to identify one that you believe was particularly significant and influential. Certainly don't be afraid to discuss a setback. This essay is not a trick. They're not trying to secretly uncover some weakness of yours. You need to be honest in showing that you just didn't get wherever it is that you were going at first. It's the overcoming that they care about more than the setback. You need to show a cause and effect relationship where process and outcomes are important. Not even the ultimate outcome of the situation, but the ultimate outcome or impact on you as a person. As you start writing, avoid starting your essay with a bland statement like, I had to start over when fill in the blank. Instead, leap directly into the action of your story and immediately convey what was at stake in the situation. Next, briefly explain the obstacle or setback you encountered, and then dedicate the rest of the essay to outlining your reaction to it and the steps you took to either soldier on with your original plan, despite the impediment, or begin anew. Be sure to address what specifically inspired you, what kept you from giving up on attaining your objective, and how you maintained your motivation as you pursued your goal, and again, share the way you changed. 250 words make them count. Quick final note, UCLA does have an optional essay and some candidates might be tempted to use the optional essay to squeeze in more information about themselves. But anyone considering this option must be prudent about doing so because Anderson is very clear. It states the essay is specifically for extenuating circumstances. Bad grade, time off between jobs, layoff, rough Gmail. This is your place. The story about how you save that cat stuck up in a tree save that for another place. For more on that topic, don't miss our next video where my colleague Rachel Beck goes in depth on when to write an optional essay and the tone you should use in that essay. That brings us to the end of our UCLA essay analysis. Good luck with your UCLA essays and with your application to UCLA Anderson.